Hi, I'm Lou, an art therapist at the Teapot Trust, creating your very own superhero. We all have our superheroes. They can overcome challenges or situations that might otherwise have seemed doomed. Create your superhero yourself or as a group activity with your family using whatever art, playing or recycling materials you have available. Use your creative power and imagination. Follow an easy superhero storyboard worksheet with simple step-by-step -step instructions. What strengths or superpowers does he or she have? Has he or she got a special uniform? Does your superhero have a symbol? What does he or she love doing? What are his or her weaknesses or flaws? What is your superhero's purpose or goal? Bringing your superhero to life in a story. Begin by drawing, sketching a starting place for your superhero. Set the scene. Then come up with an idea for the middle of your story and draw, sketch an event or a challenge for your superhero. Then come up with a result or conclusion for your story and draw or sketch this showing your superhero's achievement or heroic act. Finally, fill in the missing frames. My character is Idea Buddy. If you're bored, he tells you ideas. May I introduce Care Man, normal caring superhero. His strengths are an indestructible skin, a caring personality, and he's fully equipped with all virus vaccines except one, the coronavirus. He has an interactive screen. My superhero is Decluttering Queen with magic powers. She disappears anything that is more than needed. She's very sharp, funny and colourful. She doesn't look anything special on the outside. You can tell when she's been active. She leaves places with a minimal look. She enjoys her disappearing objects act and gives special attention to how they go out. This is him. He's not got a job yet. He thinks, I need a job. The manager tells him he can have a job. He gets the job and he thinks, I need to get better. That's him in his better uniform. Then he says, what can I do for this job? That's idea, buddy. And this is him walking along, then someone else saying, I am bored. And idea buddy yet says, I can help. Why don't you play with your friends? And he says, yay. Careman hears something odd. All these strange viruses are parachuting down to earth. People are catching things, coughing violently and dying. People are saying, what's going on? Scientists get to work and boil up some chemicals in a flask and test tubes. How are they going to deliver it? They call for Careman. Careman, fully loaded with new vaccines, fires them out of his power hand at high speed and takes them out, punctures them, they crash to the ground. Those that survive run off scared. The death rates from the virus dwindle to nothing. Careman is hailed as a hero. He takes a well-earned rest in his hammock. The decluttering queen has her call. and Basically, she has got to get rid of stuff. She has no choice in the matter. Whether she likes it or not, or whether it's her job or not, it is what she has to do. The second picture is bookshelves she has to get rid of all the books. The picture in the bottom left corner is multiple objects, all sorts of categories, all the things the decluttering queen is going to disappear. The final picture is her with one picture on the wall. The therapeutic benefits of superhero and storyboard project. It was exciting. It was funny. It was fun. It helped me to connect with what was going on around me. It made me think outside the box. It brought us together as a family. I enjoyed creating a character with disappearing strengths. The storyboard helped me to visualise what this might be like. I found it empowering to invent a character with superpowers. I could imagine creating different stories from a superhero. I enjoyed doing this activity as a family and sharing the different characters we'd created along with their stories. Enjoy, be spontaneous, create. Let us know how you get on. Thank you.